All right, today we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. So the other day this box showed up and this was sent to me by a company called Speelab, S-P-E-L-A-B, not Speed Lab, Speelab. And this is an exhaust cutout kit. They sent it to me to try out and review and show it to you guys and hopefully you guys will be into it. There will be a link in the description below for this exact kit. All right, so this right here is everything that came in the kit. Let's just kind of go over everything. Right here is the main piece that'll go in line of your exhaust, so you'll cut out. This is a, about a 9 to 10 inch piece here, and then this is where the actual, like, cutout will be. Um, so the motor and everything will go here. And then, let's see, this flange right here has, like, a V-band integrated into it. It's all a one cast piece, which is pretty nice. It has threads in there that you can't really see so you don't have to fish bolts out which is neat that'll go there and then these little turn downs will go there so theoretically this could all be installed without any welding and probably in like i don't know less than an hour i'd say because there isn't like any real hard wiring you have to do so you could just get like the exhaust clamps right here and right here squish it down after you cut your exhaust out and then the wiring looks super simple too the uh, motors have this one plug here, and then you'll run this. Let's see, that plugs into this end, which is going to be a little tricky to do one-handed. And then I'm not sure how much wires in this little loom right here. We'll measure in a second. We're at 10 feet right now, so this is probably, I'm going to guess, 15 feet at least. But then this goes up next into this little union. That'll go there. And obviously the other side will connect in there too. And then this is all just guessing because there is no instructions that came with it. I mean, it, it looks like it's pretty straightforward, but this is all just guessing. It looks like everything can kind of only go together one way. And then you'll plug it in there. It plugs into your cigarette lighter. And then you have this key fob that'll open and close it. Really the thing that's going to take probably the longest is cutting the exhaust and finding a spot to run the wire through the floor or firewall or wherever you decide to. So everything's looking pretty good here. I think all we gotta do now is just find a vehicle to put this on. Hmm. I wonder which one we should put it on. So the first thing I got to do in this car is make sure that the 12 volt little like cigarette lighter works in this thing because that is what powers this whole system. So just starting at the fuse. Making sure it has power on both sides. And then the reason I wanted to double check all this is when I bought the car, this was back in the back seat. So I just wanted to uh, go through and make sure that the wiring actually was intact. And it definitely looks like someone was in here before, so I don't know what this wire actually connects to. I couldn't find it over at the fuse panel at all. But I did check this with the light tester and there's no power going to it. I checked on this side of the connection because sometimes they can get kind of weird, corroded in there. And uh, still no power. Like I said, I couldn't trace this back, so I didn't know where to check uh, the source. And I was debating on just running a whole new wire and then I was looking up here and I was like, wait, there's just some random wire, let's check that. This one has power. And then I was looking a little closer and for some reason, I'm pretty sure this is the factory uh, power wire to this. They're both orange, don't know what else it would go to, there's nothing else there. Uh, I don't know what he was trying to accomplish here. I, I, I just, I don't know. I don't know if he thought he would be able to use this as power for something else. And this is going to, it doesn't make sense to me at all. But what I'm going to do is just cut this connector and then we'll just do another butt connector here. Rejoining these two wires. I did check the ground is good. We'll take the ground for the light tester, put it on this ground strap right there that it's going to fall off of. Put it there. You can see that it is getting ground and that this has power. So, like I said, we know ground's good. We know that this wire has power. I'll just reconnect them. Again, not sure what kind of Tom fuckery this guy was doing there. And then the power source for the cutout will be all set. Alright, now that we got that wired up, I 
definitely always like to bench test things, or in this case, bench seat test things. We're getting power to that, sweet. I put a brand new battery in this little key fob. Let's see if it works. Oh yeah. Check that out. Close. You can hear this little relay doing its thing too. <laughs> Sweet. Let's unplug that so we don't leave it plugged in and drain the battery. All right, now that we're back up to step one, we can get the car up in the air and try and find a good spot for these. Hopefully there's enough room. If I remember correctly, this exhaust had a bunch of little wiggly sections. Uh, it did have an X-pipe though, which I thought was interesting. Pretty cool. So let's get it lifted up. All right, now that we're up, you can see the X-pipe I was talking about. The passenger side will be easy. We can put it right there, no problem at all. The driver's side, I don't think this is gonna be enough room right there. I don't want to take the cats off at all because I have kids, cats are nice. They don't get all gassed out. So I'm kind of thinking that the next best solution, man, this is scaly right through here. That's what 180,000 in Michigan will get you. But I'm kind of thinking we can cut at this elbow, cut at this elbow, and do a piece straight through here. I'm thinking, I'm hoping, I'm midnight token. So what I was debating on doing initially with the exhaust, because I had one of these before and what I did with that one, if you want it to sound just glorious, leave the cats on, leave the rear resonators on, and just straight pipe the mufflers. It sounds like a banshee and it sounds so good. But when I did that, I didn't have kids at the time. So I want something that's kind of quiet and kind of reserved and then when I'm alone by myself and just feel like partying, I can hit that switch dump the shit here and just be like whop 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 even though the thing only makes like what 240 horse maybe it's still just fun to be an idiot sometimes all right so since this is going to be the easier side we'll start here and kind of figure out a game plan obviously i want them about like this give or take like in this general vicinity like in this general vicinity like in this general area i'm not sure the angle or like where i want it exactly just yet but what i'm gonna do for this, I've got this adapter that's three inch ID to two and a half inch OD. So what my thinking here is that the end will slide into this piece and I can just put a clamp on it and I can put a clamp here. And then for the other side, I've got a piece that's three inch OD so I can butt weld it against that and then two and a half inch ID so it'll slide over this pipe and I'll just put a clamp on that just to make it easy. Uh, sure, I could weld it all up, but this stuff, it's pretty old, pretty crusty. It'll be a pain in the ass to weld or get a clean weld on. So if I'm only doing the welding on the new parts, that saves a whole lot of a headache. And then just clamping this, it saves a whole lot of time. It'll still seal just fine. They're not that expensive. They're like three, four bucks for a clamp. These things were like five or six bucks, maybe. Maybe not even that much, I don't remember. Might've been four bucks. So let's get to work.
cutouts are physically installed. All we got left to do is run the wire, plug it in, and we're good to go. All right, this can only plug in one way, so we've got plenty here to run, oops, run into the car. Uh, we'll figure out some way to route it. We'll probably stay up here above the cross member and stuff, keep it away from any heat, and then go in probably near the fuse box or somewhere in there. We'll just keep it super simple, make sure the wiring's not gonna get caught or anything or get too hot. Uh, and then we'll get it all plugged in, drop the car down. I don't know about you, but I am excited to hear it. All right, all the wiring is ran. It still needs to be tidied up, but for the sake of just testing and hearing if it even works, it's totally fine. It's just the wiring is so long that I just need to like clump that up and zip tie it together and hide it uh, behind the ashtray and everything. But we are ready to pull this thing out and actually test it, hear the difference. I figured it'd be kind of cheating if we did it in the garage, so we'll pull it out and check it out there. Sounds pretty good. Way better than I was expecting, to be honest. Let's take it for a quick putt down the road and back. And open. It's pretty fun. Closed. Nice and quiet again. Heck yeah, man. This is way more fun than I thought it'd be, to be honest with you. Open. All right, closed. All right, we're turning around here. All right, open. There's a little bit of wind, so I'm trying to cover the mic right now so you guys can hear just the car, but this is with it closed. Here's open. Instantly throatier. So I'm sure there's gonna be more than one person who's like, why would you put those on that car? And to be honest, what else would I put them on? James Brown has a single exit out of a turbo. Goldie Hawn has a single exit out of a turbo. Uh, Jack Black is already straight piped. The Monte Carlo isn't close to running. Uh, there really isn't anything else I could put them on. Um, but I think they're gonna be a lot of fun. And uh, if you guys are interested, I put the link to them down in the description below. Go check them out. But that is gonna do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I did. Uh, thank you for watching, thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. We'll see you next time.